Welcome back, everybody. I can't help but look at my chocobo and think she looks really plain. Goldie is due for a new look. It's time to give her a more unique design. I think it's about time I changed her color. So join me as I give Goldie a makeover and explain this process step by step. I'll even show a passive gill farm that you may want to utilize. First thing I'll need is a chocobo stable. You don't need to buy your own. You can always use your FCs or if needed, you can stable them outside an apartment complex. Though I'm not in an FC and I don't have an apartment, so I'll need to buy a stable. Gotta place it right here. Awesome. Looks like it was meant to always be there. Now I'll need to quickly do the blue quest bird in hand. This quest will allow me to stable and tend my chocobo. All done. It's now time to decide on a color. To do this, I'll be using the Chocobo Color Calculator website. Here you can see all the possible new colors you can give your Chocobo. I'm thinking of going with Lotus Pink. It's a rather unique color and it'll match nicely with my character. You can see the website also shows you the required fruits you need to feed your Chocobo to cause a change. Though you'll have to feed them in a certain way to keep from maxing out the invisible RGB values. Luckily, the website gives you the feed order for best results for success. I'll just follow the recommended feed order and hope for the best. Now I need to collect the fruit. There are a few ways of doing this, although you won't be able to just collect them with a botanist. You can grow the plants. It would take two days to grow, but I don't have time for that. Goldie wants a new look now. So I'll just buy the fruit I need off the market board because nothing is too good for my Goldie. Um, hmm, hold on. Let me check Universalis real quick. Like I was saying, nothing is too good for my Goldie. All right, I collected all the fruit I will need to change Goldie's feathers. I'll just follow the suggested list. Hmm, wow, this is a long list. Probably should have separated the actual amount of fruit I would need. That way I wouldn't overfeed and screw up. All right, I finished feeding her. Now all I have to do is wait. It will take six real life hours for her new feathers to grow. In that time, she would be unavailable to me. So I just leave her in the stable and go off and do other things in the meantime. While we're waiting, let's go over how you can obtain these fruits without using the market board. The main way is by buying the seeds from the Hunt Billmaster next to your grand company. Seeds cost 15 allied seals and it takes two days to grow in a garden or a vase inside your house. On my server, these fruits are going for up to 1500 gil each. So if you have a surplus of allied seals, this is a fairly nice passive gill farm. Though I would only start this farm after I have a large stack of etherite tickets. You'll save a lot more gale and traveling fees using etherite tickets over the profits from growing the fruit. So this is just a nice bonus after you have already gathered enough etherite tickets. There's another way to gather some of these fruits. There are a few quests in Twin Feather that give these fruits as rewards. They will even reward you with a Thamnarian Onion, which is used to level your Chocobo past level 10. Click the link up top if you want a deeper dive into these quests. Anyways, I'll be back once Goldie is ready. Okay, it's been 6 hours and I'm now ready to see her new look. She's white! It's not pink! <sighs> I must have screwed up somewhere. Well... Now I can show you how to change a chocobo's color again from a different color. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what it was the plan the whole time. So it looks like Goldie is snow white. So let's put snow white in place of desert yellow, which is the generic color. I'll leave lotus pink as my desired color. And here's my new recipe. Fortunately, this list is much smaller. So I'll go collect all the fruits I'll need and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all the fruits from my second attempt. This time I'm going to separate the fruits I need from my extras. That way I don't overfeed her. You can also take an additional step and separate the fruits into stacks of one and put them in order. That way you're guaranteed to not screw up the order. All right, I fed her all the fruits and I'll be back in six hours and hopefully we'll see success. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I didn't screw up again. Yay, she's pink. I didn't screw up. So, I really like her new look. Plus, not many chocobos are sporting this color. So, I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing changing your chocobo's color. I know I screwed up the first time, but it gave me a chance to show how to turn a screw up into a success. Consider liking the video, subscribing for more content in the future, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.